Amen, and God bless you, and welcome to our daily devotional this Thursday night. A little late, but uh, I'm grateful to God that He still gives me the strength to do it and uh, put something in my heart to share. And so I'm thankful to the Lord for that. And so just as a couple of fresh reminders, uh, we still have Kingdom uh, Pantry tomorrow. And, uh, you know, please make sure that if you are able to come, come on out. We could really use your support and anything you can do to get involved. We appreciate that. And then again, thank you for all those people that were part of our Zoom Bible study yesterday. Uh, it was great to see many of your faces. And, uh, you know, I think we had a really good teaching about just life in general and how God wants to work in the middle of the things that we're kind of growing and being challenged in. Amen. Uh, so, and then again on Sunday with new orders that are coming in from Alley County, uh, we've already been uh, honoring the mask mandate. So uh, it's something that we have been doing. So uh, I feel safe and secure in the manner that we're handling things. So again, wear masks uh, to church. Many of you have ordered our uh, Faith Tabernacle uh, custom masks. And if you're still interested in getting one, please reach out uh, to Sister Madi and she will be the one to be taking the orders for us and, and, and getting those uh, uh, to us so we can make sure they get ordered. Uh, with that, tonight we're going to jump into our daily devotional and it's a scripture that we've read in the last few weeks. It's Philippians chapter 3, verse number 8. It reads as follows, and this is the NIV. It says, what is, more, I, what is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For whose sake I have lost, I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. And so, you know, I believe as people we value, we have values and those are, are those things are the most important things um, to us and also again to, to Paul here in describing it. And I believe a person's values is what we hold true to and what we think, what we do, what we say, uh, what we're willing to, um, to engage in. These are things that we, um, our values hold much of that. And so, you know, every day we're confronted with choices. And I think those choices challenge us, uh, us um, what we're going to reveal through those values and what we're going to rest on as well. And so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about tonight uh, when it comes to this. Um, the greatest challenge is sorting out on these competing values. Um, you know, sometimes there's two greater goods and which is the right one and which is the one that we should be focusing on. And so, you know, I think, you know, it's, it, is it advancing our career uh, or choosing between, um, you know, time with our children? You know, maybe it's, it's work more, you know, uh, uh, than it's important of worship unto the Lord. You know, maybe we do, our hobbies are more valuable to us than times that we spend with our spouses, right? You know, think about some of the things that, you know, do we value the purchase more than staying out of debt? You know, instead of what it does to our families by being in debt and struggling and, and having to make those monthly obligations, you know, staying out of debt so that, that we can live and be able to be um, a bit more stable in our finances, in our life. You know, and so do we take momentary pleasures uh, because of the fact that it's what we want for our life in the moment rather than what's the greater purpose for our life? And so that's kind of what Paul is describing here in this verse. He expresses the greatest value in his life and nothing, absolutely nothing is more valuable to him than knowing Jesus. Nothing's more important to him in, in expressing that all the things that he's accomplished, all the, the challenges that he's been able to overcome, all the obstacles that he's been able to endure, they count as nothing in comparison when it comes to knowing Jesus. And so, you know, he begins to describe something that I think each and every single one of us have been challenged with in our life. And, you know, I think, you know, these these values that we hold on to, these things that we are willing to endure for the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, do we, do we value those things more than what we want to accomplish within our personal and private lives? And so, you know, I think this is a core. This is a core principle or I think a teaching of, 
of what are the values of your life. And if we look at Paul, you know, are we like Paul, that we're ready to value our relationship with God more importantly than the things that we've accomplished, the things that we've learned, the things that we've been able to endure, um, all those accolades that we've been able to, to receive, do we value them more than knowing Jesus? And that's where I would tell you tonight, um, you know, that's the challenge of the core value of what's inside of you. Do you value your relationship with Christ the most in your life? I pray that you would just take a hard look at comparing what's important to you in your life. And let's, let's pray. Amen. Bow your heads. Father, I thank you for tonight. And I thank you that you've brought us to a place where we can trust you, Lord. You brought us to a place that we can look to you. You brought us to a place, Father, that we can always remind ourselves of your faithfulness. And tonight, Lord, I just honestly, I come before you and I exalt you. And I say, Lord, help us see the value of serving you, living for you, doing what you would ask from us, Lord, that we would place nothing before you, that nothing can separate us from your love, and that we would become closer to you, Lord, because of the sacrifices that we're willing to make. It's in those things, God, that you pull the best out of us, Lord. I thank you for tonight. I thank you for this small, ever so, ever so slight teaching, God, but it's a, it's a reality. It's a value principle that we need to hold on to in our life. I pray blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. One more daily devotional. And then Sunday, in, indoors, again, mask requirements. But we're looking forward to seeing you. God bless you.